Even after years of telling people to use sunscreen, sunburns still seem to be pretty common. And judging by social media, people love to share their pain. We're so burnt. What are we going to do? Look at my back. <laughs> oh, you can see where the knot was in your bathing suit. It's so bad. Look at his sunburn. He didn't put any on his back. Say I'm not very happy because I have a terrible, terrible sunburn. So how to cool the burn? Here's a few things that may surprise you. First, aspirin or ibuprofen not only eases the pain, they cut the inflammation that's a hallmark of sunburn, but no aspirin for children. Another anti-inflammatory for sunburn is cortisone cream, as long as you don't use it over too much body area. Cool water or green tea compresses also ease the burn and soothe the skin. And there's something you might have in the refrigerator. You could use milk compresses. If you're going to use milk, it's better to use full fat milk. A lot of people drink skim milk, but the fat is very good because it's very soothing to the skin. So that's important. You could use yogurt. Greek yogurt is very good because it also has a lot of fat content. So that's very soothing as well. A poultice of baking soda in cool water is soothing because the pH is similar to skin. Aloe vera gel is healing, but avoid those with fragrance that can irritate the skin. And even though it sounds like a good idea, ice is a no-no. And that's the worst thing you can do because then you're putting a cold burn on top of a hot burn. Likewise, avoid creams with local anesthetics. While they might feel good, they tend to sensitize people, and we've seen severe allergic reactions from that. Another thing to avoid, butter or petroleum jelly on a sunburn. That keeps heat in the skin. Use a light moisturizer instead to soothe the skin. But if you feel weak or dizzy or develop fever and chills, go see a doctor. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.